As we were talking about before, I know you went to the library and got the book The Hot Zone. I was wondering, what did, what did you get out of that book? Oh, I learned so much about it. The special virus they were talking in about there, and um, it's called Evil Azare, and uh, actually the different ways of saying it, Evil Azare. But anyways, so it was about monkeys and, and them. They were doing special tests to see the effects, the symptoms, and um, it, I really learned a lot about that virus. And see, actually, I was I I listened to the tapes. I'm not much of a reader, so I listened to the tapes, and um, but I, I learned that you know you can you can catch it and it's a lot more serious than people take it as it's it's very serious I mean your tissues turn to mush and mm -hmm. it's like it's like your entire body just turns into a noodle it's it's a really serious thing and obviously it's very contagious from yeah. from reading it and and most people don't take biological agents as serious as they should because it can affect your life you know you can you can die you can simply have a little bit of an allergy and like um, in New Orleans, uh, or they said that you know the death toll stands at about a little bit over a thousand. Mm -hmm. But now that um, now that if you really think about it, there's a lot of biological agents that might just come out of that because there are so many chemicals. I mean, feces got mixed into the water. Uh, it's it's definitely not sanitary. I mean, household items, bleach, vinegar, just a lot of cleaning products. They got mixed into that water, and we're like sponges, so. People that were walking around in that are probably going to get that, and you're going to uh, probably see not only effect in that, not only short term, but maybe 10, 15 years from now. So I'm sure that a lot of bi biological agents are going to come out of that too. Yes, and going back to the book, I know they, they really talk about Ebola, and that is a, a very serious disease, I know. In the book, it does have um, a very graphic description of what it can do. and. Um, Seeing that, I mean, I really wouldn't want to get that disease because I, I heard what, what could happen. and Zombie-like symptoms. Oh, yes. And I know there are all the effects. Like, you're there living, and yet you don't know what's going on because all this, all this is happening to your body. I know it can cause you to vomit, including, like, you can throw up your own blood um, in the book, which is very graphic, by the way. So if you're going to go get it, please be, please, um, I'm letting you know now that it, it is a very graphic description of what can happen but he, he was throwing up his blood I know that I know um, he was throwing up his intestines I know that it, it was a pretty horrific way to live and yet he was still living and I know that this disease is a major killer it kills about 90 percent of what is affected and I know that the, the, the people here in research labs are trying to find a way to prevent this from breaking out into the human population and I know they are testing it on animals, like we were talking about before. But I think um, the people there are, are really taking it very seriously. And I know that this is a very serious situation. And I think many people should be aware of what is really out there. I know that a lot of people, a lot of, this could have a major breakout. And just like anything, there could be a real major breakout. And so I think many people should be very aware of what's going on. And I definitely recommend the person to uh to go ahead and read that book, but um, it, it, it really keeps you on the edge of your seat, um, the hot zone. And um, just as a warning, though, if you can't take really ver very uh, detailed descriptions, it, it's, it's pretty horrific. Um, it might even give you nightmares. But if you are interested in biological agents, I mean, the hot zone is probably the best place for you to go.